Hey guys, welcome to the week here at the Geek Course. And today we're going to do the guillotine from the Kimura setup that we've been doing the previous weeks. And so we're going to start with the hip bump sweep or Kimura slash hip bump sweep kind of setup where I got his hand to the floor and I'm coming up here, right? And this could be when I'm trying to go all the way up or this could be when I'm trying to go for the Kimura, but his reaction is to hug me and stay low. Okay, so when his reaction is to hug me and stay low, it's gonna be really hard for me to hip bump him. And sometimes, like if he's tugging this arm underneath me like this, it's hard for me to get a grip on his wrist, especially if I didn't have it to begin with. And now I'm in a kind of dilemma where, okay, probably most likely, uh, a lot of people will go back down and try something else. But today, he hugs me and I'm now gonna go attacking his uh, head here, okay? So let's turn a little bit to the other side. And so you will see my arm is actually pretty high on top of his shoulder here, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm swinging this arm. And the reason why I do this big swing motion is so I get it deep enough when I'm going to aim for the guillotine, right? If I'm just gonna go straight here and tug it, now a lot of times it ends up really shallow, and then his head pops up and then I lose it, okay? But if I can keep the connection around his neck the whole way, you'll see that my arm is not slipping off the back of his head, right? So don't be too greedy by going like direct, right? Because a lot of times if I go direct here, then he's, yes, popping his head out. But if I go here, now I can start working again, okay? Now what I'm looking for is to sneak so let's go up here a little bit, is to sneak this other hand in front of my hand that's going in for the guillotine, okay? So the best part is to do this while you're still sitting up, okay? If he's coming down on top of you, it's gonna be a little bit harder because you will see there's a weight on top of it and it's harder for me to slide this hand inside. So if I'm still up here and I move this in, now I'm looking to bring this hand in here once I have it, now he can put all the way he wants on top of me and that's fine, okay? Now, I'm gonna move this elbow pretty high and then you will see I'm gonna try to attempt to bend my elbow over his shoulder uh, like a Marcello team, uh, or it is a Marcello team. So, just to show it from a different angle, uh, you will see I'm going around with this arm and on this side, I'm grabbing my own hand, so all fingers over, right? And then I'm gonna go over my shoulder, over his shoulder here with my elbow, okay? Some guys are gonna feel it's a lack of flexibility or stuff like this, but it's important also to keep my body tight to his head, okay? A lot of people kind of try to do the choke in front of their body. Of course, sometimes it's gonna work, but try not to keep his head close to your ribs and then moving the elbow over, okay? Once you have this position here, it should be pretty good, okay? So let's go back to the close guard. So I'm gonna go here, try to come up, swing my arm around, slide in my hand, and now grabbing my wrist or grabbing my palm, and now moving my elbow high, and this, left elbow high and this other one low, okay? And there we go. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. What's